Okay, so... Theoretically, the chef's be, like, in the back with the forearms is not gonna, like, throw me that much. One, in general, because I'm not caving right now, but then two... This this is pretty much within expectations for Percy in this type of environment, right? Because of the seamstress? Ay, shit. Um... Hmm. Are there stairs going up? Um, I am not. Two? I am not the person to make. What is um, it? Can I do sense the unseen to see if there's anything I can find that would lead me towards? Okay. I so I'm gonna use my obfuscate abilities, the one where if even though I'm being seen or observed, I can go and it kind of like fuddles with people's memories. So noticing that, I'm just gonna vanish from sight. The cameras won't be able to catch me. Everyone's looking at me, but you know, maybe I wasn't there actually, and I'm gonna go check out the walk-in. Actually, I was about to ask a question. I'm like, no, I don't see the fridge, do I? So, never mind. I don't see the walk. Haley points it out at this point. Oh. If it's pointed it's out to me. It's definitely a front. Do I remember it being really cold or anything like that where the seamstress was? But it was very cold. Um. Me is like, flash the curator logo sign, and part of me is like, do not do that because it hasn't worked so far. <laughs> it has not gone well for me anytime it has been mentioned. I keep almost dying, so let's not do that. Um, cool. Um, then I will, uh, I'll probably say, um, it might be through the, might be through the fridge. That, 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 that was really cold in there. I don't. I don't know. I don't really remember very well. I have... Should we try and just walk back there? Percy straight up does not remember, or it's not certain, because in part it wasn't. Percy's just kind of like, it wasn't a Chinese restaurant last night here? It wasn't a restaurant, so I'm not 100% sure. You? You always came here with somebody, like. Yeah, um. I if, came... if it's not somebody who's supposed to be here, are we gonna die? I mean, I was in here with the curator, and I do have um, a token of the curators, so unless Can things have like, changed, it's fine. It, it, I don't think we're gonna, like, die. <laughs> hey, Mikey. Uh, I, I, I quietly say, it's just, just go with this, okay? And then um, I am gonna use Obfusticate 3 to Phantom Morgana to make a little curator walk in the room. I'm Percy, and it's just a curator. Okay. 
follow our friend. Just trust me. I can't hear you, Kat. Can you not? What the fuck? Oh, now we can, yeah. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> yeah, Percy's just like, okay, I trust you. And we'll just, um, lead the way. Just confidently walk towards the walk-in to go through it. I think I Sassy is probably towards the back, because Sassy is studying this since he just learned something similar-ish. But doesn't quite know how to do it, so he's just studying this to kind of... This is me having him learn, um... Where is it? Uh, I don't know. The, was it Profane Heroes Gamos? Is that it? Yeah, because that's on my it's on my list that you gave me. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's him learning that is uh, as he watches that he just like I think I could do that, but with me. <laughs> so he's just kind of working it out in his brain using the stupid book that gave him more knowledge than he has any right to have. Monet is probably hanging around next to Sassy just to keep safe, you know. Yeah. Oh, like a dry cleaners. Yeah. So, okay, there's a costuming warehouse at Disney. Sorry, that's okay. Right. Callum would have gone scuttling through the tunnels just to get a sense of things. How many feet does she have? One. Hmm. Minimum. All right, Minimum so 12 this... feet. <laughs> so I, I, I presume this is the seamstress. I just, I just need to say it's a biblically accurate seamstress. That's all. <laughs> 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 I mean, probably then, I'm gonna ask a question. In the past, when, like, greeting the seamstress, how formal has that been? Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Um... I don't have to keep them set up. Um, interesting. Cool. So Percy kind of like looks con like she just kind of like looks confused for a second. Kind of tilts her head. 
and then just like whatever. It's like, hi, good evening. Um, thank you for having us. Thanks, I hate it. Um, sorry, I didn't hear Moth. Um, Percy's just like, um, yes, I don't believe any of my measurements have changed. Um, I am not as certain that I need anything new, but my friends were interested in getting some nicer outfits so that we are, um, presentable for the new we are going to. I love it. This is amazing. Oh, this is so gross. I love it. I'm having a great time. Going to <laughs> an event at the um, Coliseum. Yes. So like once it starts dragging, I was like, I've got I've got clothes. I don't I don't need anything. You don't have to take my measurements. I'm all, I'm all right. You don't have to touch me. He's like, <laughs> sure, sure. as much as he is the creepy guy, he is like dodging these <laughs> these tape Even measurements. Callum has limits. Percy's just like, are you sure? Um, she makes amazing clothing. All of my nicest clothes are um from her. The curator always brings me to her when I need new things. I'm just. Fascinated and happy to be here to see this. Yeah, yeah, I'm 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 sure I I've got my own clothes. I've got nice clothes for business. I'm currently like in like a like a pinstripe suit currently, actually, because he knew we were gonna be going to the Coliseum soon, so he's like, might as well wear something nice again. <laughs> Let's go with look, yes. I'm just gonna look at somebody else and be like, are we doing tactical? Because I let's never mm, let's assume yes, just on the off chance that something goes wrong. Oh, so does that mean I can't wear one of my dresses I already have? Probably not. I love all of this so much. Monet is paying special attention to it because she has some Ichi powers. <laughs> I always pay attention to it because 
this lady is working with Kevlar, and Crow is very impressed. Classy is going to um, get sort of close because he was in the back and be like, uh, "Do we get input on these outfits? Because like I have suggestions." Bethy probably lists all the measurements, even though he knows that they're going to have to take those anyway. But, like, they're basically perfect. He knows his measurements. Um, but, yeah, he is going to suggest... Um, I don't know what black tie is. That's not really my thing. I don't usually have to um, worry about the dress code because people just allow me to do whatever I want. So I want it as slutty and colorful as possible. a dress uh he would specify that uh he could do us too but he prefers a dress yes amazing Callum doesn't need like a full suit made but he is, he's going to take his suit jacket off and then the vest off from underneath it. And he's going to ask if she can line it, the suit with, like, the vest with the Kevlar. And then make a, like, a specific inside, inside pocket for the dagger that he has from Cassius. Just so it's secure and nearby in case. Two questions. One is out of character. Would I have by chance clocked whatever the fuck this like dagger from the curator is? No? No, Callum keeps it. Callum keeps it very secure on his body somewhere and doesn't take it out unless he needs to because it's a very specific dagger. Um, no, and then two, um, <laughs> I was... Do, okay, does Percy know who the, um, primogen for the city of the Samichi is? What's dress, that's all I know? Okay! Does Callum know? Does Callum, Callum know? <laughs> Does, um, would Callum know who all of the primogenists are in San Basilio? Yeah, I'm asking cool. specifically because of these letters that I still need to uh, crack open. Cool. Mm. Right. <clears throat> Um, Monet would want something to hold her axe in. As a special request, not just for the black tie event thing. Crow was working on something for that, though, I thought. Yeah, but also this is like a Samichi seamstress. She could probably have something done in like five seconds. Okay, but. fair. <laughs> um, Lisa would want something mostly to hold a lot of her melee, so just like knuckle dusters and things that won't burn her but allow her to carry any small arm she has so like that pistol that they just got and then knuckle dusters for at close quarters yeah Haley wants as much armor as possible in as skinny a dress as possible because she is frail that's fair <laughs> that's fair i love that 
Like, can we just do, like, some porcelain plates that look like a bodice? Oh, yeah, like a corset. Yeah, Monet like would want, like, a plate. like a corset of porcelain, you know? Plates. And Kevlar, maybe. Yeah. Something like that. Crow? Well, I mean, aside, obviously, yeah. ar armor, but keep it subtle, and Crow wants something that they can move in if they need to, but also looks appropriate for the setting uh, in black, naturally. They would be happy with something that lets them blend into the surroundings so that people don't perceive them. Like in a literal way, or like in a I fit in here way? Like, those are two... The, sorry, I'm just clarifying. Por que no los dos? <laughs> Why not both? Yeah. <laughs> just did a scan. Armor, places for his knives, and his desert eagle. Yeah. One more thing. Oh, why is my mic not working? There it goes. Jesus. Preferably <laughs> in a dark red. Nice. Hide the blood. Um, because I do not know, but Dasi would know. Um, the blood magic that he has, like he needs vampire blood to do that, right? Okay, and are these are these things like he prepares them in advance and then uses them, or he can just cast it? Because it kind of sounds like you create like a little like potion and use that when you need it, but I, I don't know for sure. So. You can do he, it on the fly. Yeah, so, like, uh, I'm thinking he would probably want, like, a thigh holster where you could put, like, little vials of blood. So he could have vials of blood ready for when he wants to cast the spells. Does that make sense for it? Okay. I wanted to make sure I was understanding it correctly. <laughs> Okay, okay. So you need a lot of blood for these. Oh my goodness. Okay, so yeah, I would say um, he would probably specify um, like a long floor length skirt with a slit up one side, but the other side would have like a pant leg where he could just layer blood packs. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I feel like Percy would have a dress mask because she's not like... I feel like Percy's got too much. She's either got her sweaters or she's got like a dress. Nothing in between. Um, but no, probably I think she would want something... Did, didn't we take... Did we take one or two of the silver stakes? Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. Cool. She would like something to hold one or two of the silver stakes. Kind of incorporated into the dress and a thing. I guess some like armor three of them cool then i would like stuff for that because that sounds potentially useful we shall say um Haley just pulls them out of her giant purse where she carries I, all I, of the I, things honestly, that doesn't honestly, know what to do with mary poppins purse i think the second one would be the one that crow would go for of the two i posted okay um and Honestly, I don't know. She'd probably just be like, it's a nice dress with some armor so I don't die. Um, which probably just ends up being like a high neck, simple like sheet gown or something. I don't fucking know off the top of my head. So, this 
What about my axe? Nice. I love you. I love you. That is literally the name of what I put for the episode. Is suited up. So, you're telling me that my giant ass battle axe is gonna be like Wonder Woman hidden, just straight up. I can um, yank like it, it off my it's back. It's in hammer space. Don't ask questions. And Pro's dress also has good pockets. Yeah. Everyone's dresses have good pockets. We trust the people. This <laughs> <laughs> dress is immaculate. Yeah. So, like, how much money do I owe you? Mm -hmm. I start pulling money out of the bag. <laughs> his pull is the tiny bit sticking out from the... Rummage, rummage, rummage. Small coin. Hand. Hmm. That's a cool I love, trick. I love that we are going to a black tie affair and like half of us are not wearing black. I don't well, black know tie just means there's... fancy. Black tie means fancy, and I I don't know what color Percy's would be. I feel like it's actually black. I don't mm. think. Beautiful suit. I appreciate the suit. Percy wears black. Mike, yep. Mikey, before we go to the Coliseum, can I take a little side adventure? Possibly topped by the eulogy? Yeah, okay. Let's go back to the Elysium before heading up eulogy. Yep. That way we can put away our old clothes. Yeah. I assume he sends us away with like nice garment bags for everybody. Of course. <laughs> it just says thank you five times on it. Hello, Matt Paul. Does it have <laughs> googly eyes on it? Customer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hold Everything, everywhere, all at once reference. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Uh, walk, walk, back, baby. Hi, welcome. Raleigh, 
Oh my gosh, I totally don't remember your name. Who sent you? Oh. Who sent you? Oh, okay. The curator said it? Do I believe her? This is like a tall order. Yeah. Can, Can I, I also insight check this? Yeah. <laughs> insight check. Insight check what? time. Insight. Thank you. Ooh. Can I lower the DC because I have um, specialty and motivations? Um, like if... Okay. I'm gonna try can it. I was gonna say, can I... With the third eye of the salubrity, does that do anything for me? Okay, let's see. A crit success... No successes on yeah, five no, die. That seems legit. Success, 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 and a success on the hunger die. So that is five successes plus a crit. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. but a crit doesn't do anything unless you have two. That's correct. Mm. I didn't. I don't think so. Well, no, I haven't I tried have, yet. I have five. five regular successes and an additional uh, one crit. So would that? A crit? Do I thought a crit doesn't give you bonuses unless you have two crits. Well, it doesn't. I, I was ask I'm asking if Sorry. that counts. As if it's just one, does that just count as a regular success then? Yes. Yeah. So that's six of six no. for me. Crow. I, yeah, I rolled for it, but I only got uh, two out of six, so. I also only got two out of six. It was a I'm curious, but roll 20 hates me, so. That's why I'm rolling physical dice. Kari doesn't I've have physical that. dice yet. Not yet. But you will. Uh, I have five total. You said wits plus, you said insight plus intelligence. Yeah. No. No. I did said, insight plus oh, intelligence. Oh, we could. So, uh, I did not wit, so he did not. Insight, insight plus wits or awareness, or plus wits or intelligence. Oh. I mean, I probably still wouldn't have gotten very good because I have five total, so it would take like Same. six total. Same. I. Yeah, our health, our character, are very similar. <laughs> Oh We're weird mirrors, buddy. Oh. will make a note of that. Sorry, I'm just thinking back to my solo game. 
and having a question, but now is not a relevant time for that question. That's a message you about it later question. Oh my gosh, like we totally have to set you up in the room then. Probably Crow. Um, you're describing a beautiful woman with a sword. I'm okay. He's <laughs> <laughs> just gay. <laughs> I'm just a homosexual, my dude. Okay. That was literally just gay. <laughs> hot ladies with swords. No, hot ladies with weapons. No, I'm being gay. No, we're all gay, my <laughs> Get out the water. Get out the water. Mm -hmm. Get out the water. Well, that solves one problem. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Does Callum recognize her? Okay. Does Percy? Is this somebody Percy's ever seen in her work with the curator, or around San Basilio before she worked directly with the curator? Okay, cool. Figured it was worth asking. Neat. That heart isn't important, I just wanted to put heart on it. Thank you. <laughs> The silver or something mines? Blackstream mines. Blackstream. So. Mm. Uh, crows. Oh. Crow does not want her, their sire anywhere near their coterie. So, Crow will make sure all the security is aware that her their sire is to be killed on sight. If they, if their sire. Yeah, since all four of them showed up already. Four of them? Uh huh. Y'all didn't catch it. I did. No, <laughs> did. Mm hmm. <laughs> I have information about that. Do you tell? I would love to tell the information I have about that if I knew I had information about it. Oh, That's right. Interesting. 
Oh, oh shit. Um, I have my scrolls that Beckett gave me that I would like to deliver, so I need to figure out how I can get in touch with the head of the Smeechy, the head of the Ventru, like the primogens of San Basilio, like the head of the Smeechy of San Basilio, the head of the Ventru, which ideally I want to find the curator, and then whoever it is, the new head of the Tremere. Because the one that we knew was this one, yeah. Remy, what do you got? Yes. Uh, I would say yes. Only it Monet is... and Odalise know about that storyline. Yeah. Callum knows about it. Because the cu- in our solo mission, the solo mission, the curator, like at like at the very end, like. You mentioned something about the curators trying to work towards getting the repentance marks off. Well, I wouldn't know that Monet and uh, Odalise are working on that, though. But Callum is at the curator's disposal about that, because he does technically work for the curator. But I do- I don't know- you- you'd mentioned about, like, Callum's- um, Callum's sire being, like, a- like, a possible target for something, for some, like, major magic thing. I don't know if that was something, like, would be some- It would be something that Callum would keep an eye out for because of- (laughs) Okay. Uh, Haley still wants to figure out who was trying to steal all of her family before she got them out. Which, above the table, I understand what happened, but I don't think Haley actually fully understands. Also, Kirsty wants to, yeah, like wants to go to this new ziggurat, which is the whatever mines I didn't. Black stream mines. That one. I've been writing them all down. I want to see the ziggurat. We have eight and a half right now. I can see them! <laughs> Lady Block, Lady Nocturne. You have yeah, no really idea. Are. Each one is unpleasant as the last. Can we mark the other cigarette on the map also? The one under Mount Jasta. Mount Pasta. I don't know that we need to do anything about that necessarily, but I feel like Percy probably cares. Percy cares very much about that, but also, like, you guys have a lot going on. Bruce is like, I mean, is it a lot? It's fine. I mean, once we get, once we get, once we get some of the more pressing threats and matters dealt with. Um, yeah, also the Inquisition. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Inquisition. Mm. Also, Sassy's like, this is a lot of, like, y'all's problem. I don't have that much on my plate. Oh. <laughs> The Inquisition is very much a you problem, trust me. That one, yes. And so is the Lady Nocturne one and the Repentiamark one, but they don't and know. Also he doesn't my know about sire her. will try and fucking eat you if they catch you. Crow points yeah, out. but now but now your sire doesn't have like the creepy murder murder journal, so at least there's that going for us. Isn't that the what now? Yeah, and he's like, you would have to get in line, because, like, a lot of people want to eat me. <laughs> the cop- not in the fun way, No, there was a creepy murder journal. Did you guys not see that? Did- I wasn't there for that, to be fair, and at the time yeah, I ran into him- nothing about Crow's sire. Hmm. Not a damn thing. To so, be fair, um, I wasn't there when he had his <laughs> creepy murder journal, apparently. Yeah, it's really weird. Um, but no, he's really creepy and tried to murder us and eat us, so it wasn't great. 
I thought with him, I think, if it's the same because it matches the description know, from you know, a lot of mind, it, mind fucking and go yes. everywhere and just fucking disappear out of Something like that, yeah. Like yeah, some brown. I saw some bloody footprints after we thought we'd kill it, killed him, so he's still out there. Yeah. I think that the most important part is that you prioritize. So, like, what thing do we want to deal with first? Because I think it's Lady Nocturne. Yeah, yeah. Lady Nocturne, Agreed. Lady Nocturne okay, is the most important. I'm going to put a big one next to that. Yeah, because, like, if we don't take care of that, we all die, right? That's, all that's die. like, the thing. Yeah, well, we yeah. Um, and I die, which is important. Which is clearly the worst part. Nothing worse in the world could ever happen. You uh, I think position should be. You're like my new best friend now. Sorry, hey. I, I think <gasps> after Lady Nocturne, we should probably deal with the Inquisition because y'all got angel problem. Yeah. Oh yeah, we have the angels. That's also a thing. We should write that down. I mean, that kind of goes along with the ziggurat. Is it? I thought it, it went along with the Inquisition. Oh my it, god, it, I mean, it kind of does, but at the same time, where I ended up, there was angels. The thing you couldn't get the picture up, right? With the floating and the I chanting? saw it, but yeah, apparently the picture didn't turn out. Yeah, yeah. I wrote that down. I really want to see. I really want to see that. Maybe not the ritual, part, although I also actually maybe the ritual. But the ziggurat, I definitely want to see. Okay, so like. First we deal with Lady Nocturne, then it's the Inquisition, and then we'll readdress because there's a lot of things on our plate. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think number three should be the Repentia mark. Where do the angels fit into that? Because, I mean, I feel like the Inquisition and the angels represent similar concepts of problematic for us. It's just on a more cosmic scale versus on a more, like, manifest, uh, a more... I uh, just assumed they were working angel. together. I don't so. until it shows up. Until it shows up that they're working together, I think the angels are kind of doing their own thing because they're kind of like a whole different thing. I have some like theories about it from my research. It's a whole thing. I think we should uh, deal with the Inquisition after Lady Nocturne because the fucking Inquisition is fucking up my my information trade, and I don't fucking like it. The Inquisition or was that Dwarfy? I think that was Dwarfy. That was fucking it up. But I also feel like the Inquisition also is, like, throwing some major hammers into the things. The Inquisition is an issue to be dealt with, for sure. Yes, but not because they're fucking with your shit. No. They're with all of us. I... They're a threat. Personal they dealings... Personal dealings with the Inquisition. They're a threat that absolutely needs to be dealt, dealt with before they get to their third wave. Cool. Lady Nocturne. Let's Whatever. let's plan that. Because yes. like, so this is a lot of information and I've already forgotten half of it. Like not gonna lie. Totally forgotten. Charlie holds half of up it. a little notebook and one of those pens that has like a poof ball on top and like holds it over to Sassy and is like, I wrote it all down. Cool, let's cross let's off one. Pens. Let's do cool. Lady so. Nocturne. <laughs> I'll, I'll, a yeah, do might not be the right true. adjective. I don't think we'll be able I to mean, kill her. I wouldn't. We don't have to kill her. I don't her. think we have to kill her. We don't have to kill her. We just have to like deal with her and get her to stop trying to fucking coup the prince, which is slightly better because then we don't have to kill anybody. It's anybody a lot less of a hassle. Her. Yeah, and we talked about this, right? Like, we just need to make it so she's not a desirable prince. Because then she can't take over for him. So, like, if we can get some dirt, people won't want her. Because she'll be like, ew. You know? Like, the people that just you just don't want to hang out with at the party, we need to make her the person you don't want to hang out with. Isn't that your whole thing? Yeah, kind yes. of. That's why I said Sassy and I need to get in there. Yeah, the, that's why we got pretty dresses and shit, right? Hell yeah. Exactly. And also, we really needed a makeover. I mean, speak for yourself, bitch. I thought I looked Excuse good. Excuse me, how many times have you been I, covered in that? I think I looked fine. I thought I looked okay. I like my sweaters. Clearly, I'm like, clearly I'm doing well because Francis seems to like me anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> that is not a- I'm like, that is not a good one. Buddy! It's been like four hours, buddy! <laughs> buddy. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Oh, buddy. I did 
make sure he didn't I, die. It's like not small. And priest just kind of. I have a robe he can wear. Ancestors should put on pants. That says you should not put on pants. Just saying. Just to stay like that. There's a silk robe in my room. He can borrow it. I don't think that's. I don't think he'll wear it. I don't think it's. I don't think it's an issue of being unable to have clothing to wear. It's just that he doesn't want to. I, yeah, I think it's just. Which I mean, that's I fair. I'm not mad about it. <laughs> Percy and Sassy just like I'm not mad about it. Yeah, Sassy is definitely staring disrespectfully. Anyway, <laughs> y'all, y'all two are ridiculous. Pro is pointedly trying not to look. <laughs> Yes, let's do that. And also a fighting pit. Do you also have a one Does it have to be one from the casino, or can I just buy one? When, when is it like a specific date of these balls, or is it like I don't? This week, okay. I'm gonna It's, it's February 17th now, right? And how many days do we have left? And when's the next ball? Okay. Well, Sassy's good then, because on Wednesdays he wears pink. <laughs> I was waiting for that. It's always Wednesday for Haley. It's always Wednesday. Every day is Wednesday when you're Haley. Okay. So it probably makes the most sense to go during a ball, but we have to figure out how to get into the VIP area first. And I don't know if it'll be as easy this time as it was last time. Well, we have... We have Callum. And you have him. No, I, I sell... Vate, basically. No, no, Haley and Monet have a lot of drugs. Well, Haley has a lot of drugs? Someone has a lot of drugs. Haley has Monet a lot of drugs. Has Haley drugs has a lot of drugs. drugs. I mean, although they also have a lot of drugs, but there were um, artifacts underneath the drugs. So that's we have more drugs. There's Haley that has drugs. Callum has his end with Lady Nocturne. I'm sure Alistair has his end with Lady Nocturne. If we can win 
a few of those fights, then we can get boons that way. Well, Nay and I could do could handle that eventually. The gambling. I used to deal table games when I years before. Over the table question. Wait, oh shoot! I was trying to. Um, my small favor coin from Lady Nocturne. How much can I swing with that? Like. What would Callum know he could get with that small favor coin? Mm -hmm. Just me. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, I did. Um, I was genuinely wondering for the mild chaos of it all is premonition useful for cheating at gambling. Incredible. Excellent. Just kind of like after a second, she's like, well, either if I ask really nicely, I'm sure Francis would love to kick the shit out of somebody in a fighting ring, um, but I don't know if that would get me in. But also, I can do some like gambling stuff, and I sh I should I should be able to do that. And that'd be fine. How can I mean, you I mean, we could also just sneak in. I mean, I can do this, and you're gonna watch. Callum is going to activate obfuscate, but he's also going to activate um cloak. Uh, is it cloak of shadows that allows him to cloak of shadows? Cloak of gathering. Cloak of gathering. It is um can shelter their companions. So when he goes invisible, he's gonna leave like Haley still visible and like everyone else surrounding the table is just vanished, gone. And then what a back click. like I can do that. We we can we can sneak in and do that. I'm sure they definitely don't have people that can see through that. Uh they oh. probably do. Um, I was being sarcastic. That? Like, I think I can become a different person. Do you think they could see? I that? can make people into different looks. I don't I want that. Well. I like looking like me. But, thank but you. I also think that I could probably just flirt my way in. Like somebody who's like on a really good gambling streak, I could just like latch onto them and get in with them. Probably. That would. That would. I mean, play your strengths, really. I think between that. Percy and me, we could probably gamble enough to get our way in. Because um, I, I can... I can gamble like get my way in. I don't know that I can get anybody else in, because I don't know if it lets you get other people in. Yeah, yeah, that's that's another thing. If you gamble and you get in, I don't know if you get a plus one. So like, if not, I'll just kill the person and take their identity. I'll just become them. I mean, oh my god, that's so much fun. Yeah. I've got... Right? I've also Thanks got um I've also got this small favor token, which I could give it to either uh, Haley or Sassy. It could get you maybe a five to ten minute audience with Lady Lady Nocturne. Oh, I don't want to talk to her. Yeah, like I don't want to talk to her. I want to talk to other people about her. Like th she's the worst source of information. If we're gonna like bring that bitch down, I gotta talk to other people and get the dirt. Yeah, but it could also be a like a last ditch effort of you guys could convince her to stop vying for the prince's fucking feet. Yeah, I. I mean, but like, I also, also, I am fucking fantastic, but I am not that good. I don't think any of us are that good. Like, I who mean, wouldn't want to um, be friends? I mean, I could, I, like, can I? Uh, if if all else fails, okay. I could do like I did uh, with in. The underground. Do what? Uh, I wasn't the there. Sharing I also the wasn't premonition there. thing. Oh yes, with Octavius. Yeah. Um. You know, but, but like that's an said. actual oh, premonition, no. though. Like you don't have control over that, right? So like it could oh, backfire. It could. The premonition was in her favor. 
Yeah, but if I show her what threats there are that she would have to deal with if she became the prince. But like, you can't I'm control your premonition, right? I'm fairly certain that she probably already knows threats that would be coming uh, to Considering her the, the threat of her life for right even now. thinking about wanting to be the prince. Yeah, she she does know. Stays in the Colosseum for a reason. Yeah, and it would be just our luck because we have the worst luck. Like, no offense, fam, but yeah. like we have terrible luck. That your really premonition would know her like mind. overcoming all of these yeah. odds and being super fucking successful, and then like shit, we fucked yeah. up. It would be very risky. Do it that way. Good idea, but it's risky. Okay, so still step one is gather information and try to get into the VIP area. But we want to get into the VIP area during the ball in two days. So, do we know if we can, like, get our little VIP token and use it later? Or would we need to use it the same day? That's something we should find out. Okay, what time do you have to leave for work? That makes sense. But we could start by going to the casino and seeing if we can gather any information there. Yeah. Which is what, which is probably a good idea for Haley or for Odalise or Monet. Yes. So I think we need two groups. We need Team Coliseum who's going to info gather and Team Coliseum who's going to fight because they should at least probably get a couple practice rounds in just to see how things work. Right? I don't know. I don't fight. That's actually a really yeah. good idea. That's, a bad I that's not a bad idea. Get a feel for things and see how it works before actually committing. And Is it like bare knuckle? Hmm. Also, also uh, it would give those of us considering gambling a quick at? look around the floor, see how they oh, actually do things. I and I can, like I said, I used to, I did like casino this? work at one because point, so I could probably her. point out, find the system weaknesses. No, do all casinos work the same? I don't. Think uh, really there's do enough do similarity. Um, because they have to have standardized rules for things like poker, blackjack, all that. Um, some have different games that they that I would need to learn. But things like things like poker, roulettes, crap, uh, craps, and blackjack are your standard casino games, and those rules. Do not change, no matter where you go. Oh, and, totally, depending on where you go? Uh, that would be things like table games, like the casino mm -hmm. I worked at had something called Pie Gow Poker. Uh, I also had a couple other poker-based games. Those are where your variables are. Your big standards, though, those are the same across the board. I mean, I guess we can go take it out. I mean... It would... It would also be good to get a feel for the like how often they change the decks, things like that. So if you want to try counting cards, which if you get caught, that's bad, but it's possible. I mean, yeah, we can reconnaissance because sorry, I just realized that Percy would have no idea she can do premonition. <laughs> okay. Haley starts handing everybody money who's going to the casino because they have to buy chips somehow. Yep. Crow is going to the casino. Is there a buy-in for fighting? Mm. No. Okay, but I'm going to have to, like, go gamble on Monet. Mm-hmm. Pro will also do that in addition to playing the like the, the main standards, like they said. 
Because those are what they are familiar with, and those. The only one I was not trained on was craps, okay? So... I... would my small favor token be able to get me a ticket to the ball? Would I be able to cash that in for a ticket to the ball? Okay, so I've got my ticket. <laughs> Can you take a guest on board? We need a ticket, like ticket to the vault. Do we need a ticket to the vault and VIP? Are those like two separate things? Or. I think VIP will get you into the ball on Wednesday. Gotcha. Okay. 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 So the goal for today is just to get the lay of the land. Information gathering, yeah. And maybe get a few practice rounds in for the fighters. Yeah. Ugly still wants to go to Yorkie. Look, knowing what I know with what happened to the fucking Salubri with the Tremere and where Zara possibly is again. Callum can go with Odalise to Eulogy. That make me feel good. Where? And with the idea of meeting up later. Unleash. The last time we split the party and you went off on your own, it was really bad. Oh, I remember. I remember. Trust me, I'm still dealing with the after effects. Yeah, it's like, you will die. We'll go. But this is also my sire. Haven't we also, a lot of us almost died like five different times? Like, I was in like a collapsing oh. building and shit, so I don't think that's a really good metric. I mean, I've been I mean, I can go with Odalise. It's, I mean, Eulogy's kind of Nosferatu's stomping ground, so I'll go with Odalise. And you already have an in with your little token thing, so you don't need to do research and such stuff. And I can mm. find out about fights for Monet. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, I was gonna offer to go, because I thought I had something I wanted to ask the Sylvia about, but now I don't remember, but, um... I mean, gambling is gambling, to my understanding. I don't think I'm going to magically get better at it just from, like, watching it for a day. Yep. It's up. Yep. I would like to if I had to. Callum, and Percy are team you And then Alistair. Al? Alistair. Al is not going to let me Oh God damn son of a fucking damn it son of a God damn it I tried so hard Motherless whore <laughs> Motherfucker So hard and got so far Moth <laughs> But in the end we still split the party ah, It's my It's only so sire <laughs> And a child She'll be fine she's a vampire She's Not either already Premier. dead or fine not against the spider witch Tremere. It's Schrodinger's spire right now. You'll hit- why would you hit it over- Because- They're gonna be at the ball, more than likely. Would I know that? Ah, oh, sh- hold on. Uh, c if we're going to eulogy, <laughs> can I at least, like, before we leave, just cause I am curious, now I'm like, okay, I have a way to find the Samichi one, I still need to get in contact with the fucking curator and give him this scroll from Beckett, because I assume it's for him. And then, um, the Tremere one is a TBD, but, um, can I please open the scrolls and see if I can read them? I don't know if they're included or not. I don't know what's going on, but I want to see if I can get them open. Sorry. Larson. 
Two plus dex? Um, hold on. Sorry, I'm just thinking really quick. I want to crack them open, but I'm debating if Percy is self-aware enough to know that she might not be the best at it, and if there's somebody she could ask for help, and if she would ask for help. On how to open an envelope? They're sealed. Like, Stick them in a freezer. It's a scroll. With Stick like it a in a freezer for about an hour, it'll pop off. Then you can just seal it back up with glue. I've got a tip in larceny. This is my actual knowledge right no, now. No, that's a very good point. <laughs> yeah. Do you have like a scroll with a wax seal, Nike? Oh, then it might not work oh. that way. Um. Actually, yeah, you know what? I know what Percy's gonna do. Percy's gonna like have these scrolls, just gonna kind of look at them and be like, and then after a moment, she's gonna be like, hey, Odalise. Yeah. You know crime, right? I've got my, felt my fair share. Can you help me open these? I can give it a shot. So she's gonna, like, present the scrolls. Because I was gonna be like, she'll present one, and then she realized, she's like, goes to hand one, and then she's like, I said these, that's plural. <laughs> well, here we go. And so she, like, shows you these three scrolls that she has. That have a <laughs> wax seal of some variety on them, which I'm assuming is whatever Beckett's insignia is, or something. I'm assuming. I don't know. That is a Mikey question. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's flavor. <laughs> nope. I'm sorry? <laughs> Immediate. Nope. Mm -mm. Do you know someone that can? I could. I, I could do that, but no. Do you know someone else that can? Hmm. Good question. I don't know anyone that's going to want to touch those things. I am going to relate this is very quietly. Why don't y'all just ask Crow to try and scry on the contents? I am gonna relay quietly to Percy what was what I heard in my head when my eye, when the third eye activated. About like all the coming doom stuff. Mm hmm. This isn't gonna strike a chord at all with Percy of being like a like exclamation point concern, is it? Oh, is it concern? I was like, I don't know, because like she's kind of like. <laughs> I would not recommend opening the scrolls. Mm. Cool. So even if even like Percy, who is like, oh, everything's great and fine all the time, is kind of like, this is bad. He'll be like, hmm. Probably. Okay, maybe we don't open them. Huh. I'm both curious and concerned. Okay, cool. Um, I... Hmm. Helen's car. I now have to ignore the main plot. Team ignore the main plot and team sane people. <laughs> team don't die. Team over here! <laughs> <laughs> I 
Drive and Dex. Should we discuss the should we discuss the ride? Let's not talk and drive at the same time, please. <laughs> I'm gonna retry that. Can we use a reroll re there? Please? Yeah, I was, just, I was just gonna say we have two rerolls, use one. Yeah. Y'all are doing wow. me concern by splitting the party. <laughs> Evidently. Or I just have so much fucking glitter in my eyes. <laughs> Let's yeah, go with the glitter. A lot of glitter on. It's like, oh man, that's the last time I made You may not game. blame me. You may absolutely not blame me for this. Listen, that much <laughs> glitter is like fucking mace. Glitter is the herpes of the crafting world. This is true. It is. Which is why it's fun to mail it to your friends. Yeah. Are we using the regular one out of three or the one out of three with the bestial failure? <laughs> oh, the bestial failure, okay. <laughs> we just want to use the other one. <laughs> I... The glitter of her friend. Haley's in the seat next to her. <laughs> That's reason enough at the moment. <laughs> and Sassy's probably either. Well, there's not as many of us this time, so Sassy might be in either Haley's lap or leaning between the two, like chatting to Haley. So definitely very distracting. Weird. Do I recognize them? Shit. <laughs> it, uh, that's who I think it is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, okay. I stop the car ten feet away. <laughs> I stop the car. Ten feet away. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I hit the flashers. I'm going to lock the windows so that Haley cannot roll down that window, and I'll roll down the window and chat with War. Can I help you? Hmm. How you doing? Mm, yeah, knocking. Great. What do you want? I cannot. You see this on my neck here? It doesn't go away. How does he know? I can't go home until it's off. So, either it comes off now, or I don't go home. Yes, and I'm being obtuse with war. <laughs> mm. 
Because, like, I know Father probably definitely has a way to get it off, but... Persuasion plus manipulation. Well, what's my DC? Oh my gosh. You totally can't just go. Help. Help. Like, I can't... Can't just leave. Oh, believe me. I know. The second, the second Inquisition is in town, in case you haven't been noticed. Oh. She's noticed. <laughs> and we also have angels. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, we actually planned things. Gross. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> I'm in danger. Sorry, Mom. Oh no. I'm in danger. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I do. Before because I will forget if I don't ask it now. Um, would Sassy know? Because Sassy was there with the woman in white during that whole thing. Would he know if he used uh, Haze if that would be enough against these particular types of people to get away? Because I don't think it would be, but I don't know if Sassy would know or not. No. Well, hay is not envelope. Haze creates a field of mist. So, like, if they, if he just created hay and said Monet Drive, like, and <coughs> threw it, they would be left in the haze, and maybe they could get away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, I'm being choked after that <laughs> situated. Like, if we can get rid of that, then can do haze to kind of distract them a little bit. Okay. I don't know if... Well, I think I have the bug one. I no, have... Right yeah, I was gonna say, I have... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's see, I don't need that bug. Pestilence. Uh, Oogie boogie. Yeah, because I do have envelope, which would... Oh, uh, surround one of them, but I don't know if just get, taking out one would be enough. Which is why I was oh, thinking, hey, it would be like a. No. <laughs> um, Mikey, are you? Did you stop recording already? Or.